ABC 15, as you know, is your home for Cardinals preseason football. And today we're introducing you to a face you may have seen on the sidelines. Craig Fui is live at the University of Phoenix Stadium with more on Megan, one of the Cardinals cheerleaders. Yeah, Katie, you know, a lot of these girls spend their lives hoping to be a cheerleader for a professional sports team. And Megan is one of those girls that actually went away after college and came back a little later in her 20s and had a tough time making the squad just because she's a little bit older than the rest of the girls. I started when I was three. My mom put me in little, you know, tiny, tiny talk class. Like a lot of girls, Megan started dancing at a very young age. I picked it back up when I was nine, and I loved it. So I danced competitively in a studio from the age of nine uh, all the way through high school. And then I was on my college dance team. But after college, Megan took a break from dancing, got a job, and spent years away from the very thing she loved the most. Yeah. Well, we got Line two, Line years two. later, when she first thought about trying out to be a Cardinals cheerleader, well, she needed a little extra inspiration. I had an awesome friend just basically say, you have to do this. What do you have to lose? Just do it. A year ago, there she was, living her dream of trying out to be an NFL cheerleader. And I remember my number being called, and uh, it was 118, and they called 118. I couldn't believe it. I'm in final. Then I knew. I was like, I want to make this team. And make it, she did. It's just been such an amazing experience, and to be at this age and still be able to do this, and and to do it after you know taking such a long break it's been really exciting that long break megan is talking about lasted seven years the war was uh going on at the time when i graduated college so i wanted to take a job that was going to be meaningful so i decided to join the army that's right megan joined the army well, when i first joined i went to basic training and from there i went to officer candidate school so i was commissioned a second lieutenant at the end of april in 2007 and from there i became a cable platoon leader and i deployed a month later from getting to my unit to iraq lieutenant megan quickly found herself a long way from home i was deployed to joint base Balad which is about an hour north of Baghdad. In Iraq, Megan didn't spend a lot of time thinking about dance. She had bigger problems to worry about. Our biggest threat to the base was incoming mortars and rockets. Her job in Iraq, critical to the success of the troops who were on the front lines. My job was to make sure that the warfighter, the, the soldiers that were actually out doing combat missions, were able to communicate. Today, long after her 16 months in Iraq, Megan cheers for the Cardinals on Sundays but she's still involved with the military. I'm uh, currently a reservist. I am a signal officer for a military police battalion that's out of Scottsdale. And when everyone stands to sing the national anthem before kickoff, Megan can't help but think about what the flag means to her. When you see the flag, it means a lot, you know, because our country is, has given us so many, many freedoms, and to be a part of fighting for that and maintaining that, it, it means a lot. So yeah, it gives me goosebumps. I can't help it. <laughs> Craig Fooey, ABC 15 Sports.